Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a red Louis V freestyle. There will be no application process in today's video. I mainly wanted to focus on the designs. Here are the products I use. Okay, time to turn these simple nails into something cool. First, I am starting with this thing. With this first bead, I'm going to be making its tail. Then with the beads above it, I'm going to be making the body basically swirling around the nail. I don't really worry too much about the application of the snake. I do try to lay it as best as I can, as best as I imagine the snake to look like. But I do have a little trick shown later in the video where I like to just perfect the shape and remove some of the red acrylic that stained the nail.
Okay, now that we're all done with our snake, I'm going to be taking Nail Supply Glamour's Foil Gel and I'm going to be applying it all over the nail and then curing it for 60 seconds. Okay, so now that the nail is cured, I'm going to be taking that Louis V foil and pressing it into the nail. Some of it will not take later in the clip and I do fix it off camera if you are wondering. But I'm just going to be pressing it into the nail as best as I can. Okay, so now that the foil is fixed, I like to take this little drill bit and I like to go around the snake. This is my little trick. So basically, I'm just shaping the snake with this drill bit and removing some of the red staining that I got on top of the white. And you're going to do this after it sets completely. You don't want to do this while it's still wet. So yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just shaping it and fixing it up. And I do go over the top of it. I just didn't show it in this clip. And also make sure your drill setting is low so you aren't causing any dents in the nail. Okay, now it's time for bling. Um, I do want to mention that I didn't go over the top of the snake yet. That's why it kind of looks bumpy. But when you do go over it, it lays flat and smooth. It looks really nice. So I'm just doing the Louis V finger with the cuticle bling. Um, and then I'm going to do the pinky finger with the half full bling. And then the red finger is going to get a Louis V, um, what do you call it? A charm. That's what it's called. A Louis V charm. And it's going to get some vertical bling and I'm going to pierce a hoop through it so you're going to see all that.
Okay, so now that I am done with the bling on the pinky, I'm gonna add a Levy sticker at the bottom. I usually cap these, but this was a last minute decision and I just covered it with top coat. It looked really cute. Okay, so I got this little um, nail piercer off Amazon. If I can find it, I will link it down below for you guys. But basically, I'm just um, drilling a hole into the bottom of the nail, and then I'm going to put the hoop through it. So right now you're going to see me struggling to put the hoop through the hole. I don't know why I was having such a difficult time to put it through, but I did end up getting it through. I just had to remove the nail off the hand. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my white paint from Michaels and I'm gonna be drawing the white lines all over the sneak. Okay, now it's time to finish the nails with some top coat. This is Valentino's top coat. I'm going to be going around the sides like I usually do and making sure there are no gel bumps to take away from the shape. But you will notice the eyes on the snake 
get messed up towards the end, I do add them back on off camera. Okay, so here's the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me and I'll see you in the next video.